sleep and memory by Ohida. Sleep plays a vital role to memory as if they are twins. While sleeping, all physical and mental activities stop. At this period special software like a computer starts working. The memory is scanned to find out which memories are necessary to stay and which ones to brush away. Subsequently, it is defragmented so that certain kinds of memory are organized and placed at certain parts of the brain. This is how sleep helps improve memory system in the brain. It is something like a busy road which cannot be overhauled unless it becomes lazy after midnight. Sound sleep is many times more effective than disrupted sleep like a common proverb a stitch in time saves nine. On the contrary, sleep can be dangerous for memory in a special case. For example, students attend classes mostly bored, inattentive and uninterested. They plan what they will do after the class and wait for the time to finish the class. As soon as the class is dismissed, they get out and become busy with relatively better and more enjoyable deeds leaving behind all they have heard in the class. At this point when they fall asleep, the brain will as usual start scanning. The memories which the students have taken seriously will be realized as necessary and kept in order and those others which they have taken carelessly with even detest will be deleted like the maid servant who sweeps away whatever is littered on the floor as unnecessary wastes along with some necessary papers unknowingly. To avoid this unexpected loss of memory, the students must do two things. Firstly, they should participate classes attentively with as much interest as possible and jot down some key words in every class. Secondly, they must visualize, reflect and check with those key words before sleep. If done accordingly, the brain will be able to identify what to remember and what to clean. If not checked or reflected, as soon as they fall asleep the memory will be swept away like the servant who sweeps the floor. Islam suggests not to die with sins. Similarly, students are advised not to sleep before reflecting the class or revising any lesson. To clarify one example may be cited. One of my classmates did not sleep the night before the exam. He studied on and on the whole night except some unavoidable breaks for short prayers, breakfast and quick use of washroom even without a bath. He was afraid of forgetting the lessons because of sleep and a long break like a common suggestion not to close eyes in order to keep watching the ghost. He said it was a great help for him. The problem is, the memory was too temporary and forgotten soon after his exam was over. Students have already developed negative mindset, a class is always boring and the sooner the class ends, the better it is. Because of this even an interesting story told in the classroom is easily forgotten whereas a less interesting story told outside is better remembered. Still a teacher can play a significant role. He or she should try best to make the class as interesting as possible. The experts point out it is better to make the lessons interesting but it is the best to make the students interested in the lessons. One author remarked wittily. Interest is the mother of attention, and attention is the mother of memory. Drowsiness is also a serious barrier to memory. Memory just before falling asleep is lost. For example, two sisters keep on talking while lying in two beds in the same room. One said, wake me up at seven. The other sister said, all right and immediately fell asleep. What happens is that the latter may have forgotten the last conversation and refused to apologize as if nothing was said and replied. The part of the memory lost for falling asleep is too little and therefore, the situation is not realized most of the time like the slowest movement of the hour hand of a clock. The duration of losing the memory gets longer in case of getting unconscious. While facing an accident. Someone may have tried to avert the accident and may have been hurt a lot. This part of memory is lost if he gets unconscious. This is why he commonly says just after getting the sense back where am I? What happens to me? Sleep derives away certain negative factors detrimental to memory such as fatigue, physical and mental stress, physical troubles like toothache, headache or pain. At the same time, Sleep refreshes body and mind and boosts up the power of memory and its durability. 
Earlier the parents used to discourage sons and daughters to sleep like the less they sleep, the better it is for studies. As a result, it is even heard that a comfortable room with air conditioner or a cozy bed was not good for a student in fear of longer sleep. Nowadays the idea is not acceptable anymore. Sound and regular sleep free from disturbance is the best as it boosts up the memory and derives away the dizziness. Having shorter sleep saves time indeed but an appropriate duration of sleep is indispensable to ensure the effectiveness of memory system. Maid servants are usually accused of sleeping longer. If the case is true, the reason may be that they cannot avail of proper sleep. They are usually woken up several times. As a result, the time seems longer but the effectiveness of sleep falls down drastically. Similarly, the students who cut sleeping hours forcibly may go to bed frequently or feel dizzy which is absolutely negative for memory. The duration of sleep may vary from person to person or day to day. It does not matter much but it should be as regular as possible. To regularize one's sleeping hours one should wake up at the same time every day. It is also healthy to go to bed at the same time every night but the same time to wake up is much better than that to sleep. Some students may sleep shorter habitually but should not do so compellingly. Both sleep and memory system are equally important. One without the other is not positive. They are complementary to each other. To be tactful in dealing with memory we should ensure proper sleep. Then the body and the mind will equally help memory system work effectively with peace and prosperity. Published in Morning Tea of the Daily Sun on the 4th of April 2014. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.